Deepak Shukla here at Pearl Lemon Properties. If you're looking to find out how you can get a mortgage for £78 per month whilst getting a rental income in excess of £418 per month, then click the link in the description below to get access to our free training. Today we're going to be talking again about property investment tips and really it's about if you're building your buy-to-let property portfolio, it's worth reviewing the rents on an annual basis. So if you just set aside the same time of year, whether that's December the 31st, whether that's whatever it is, it's really powerful to have a look at the current rent, the, the rents that you're charging versus what's happening in the marketplace. Uh, the reason for that is, for example, you might see that across the board in the local area, rents have increased by, you know, let's say 10%. So it's gone from £400 to £440 per month. Now, depending upon your decision, you can decide to increase the rents in parallel with what's happening in the local area and see how your tenant responds to it. Now, it will, it will all depend upon the agreement that you have with your estate agent and the contracts that are in place, but it's just worth keeping this um, in your mind um, because there is opportunity here for you to work in line with what the rental yield is locally because as you build your property portfolio and you go from maybe one to five to 15 to 25 properties, it may well be the case that you have opportunity to increase your rent across the board. Now, if you're charging a rent that's higher than the area, then you could equally, if you prefer to do the opposite or you know, at such a time when your tenant leaves, you can then determine what the best next step is if you wanna bring the rental rates down slightly. But in either event, it's powerful to just be you know, mindful of what the local yields are because that should have a direct impact upon what you decide to do with your current rental rate. I know um, I, I, I rent right now where I live in, in Fulham in London and our um, landlord asked us to increase our rental rates and I basically refused um, and said I would rather leave to kind of call the landlord's bluff and in the end they didn't ask us to leave and uh, it would have been far more complicated. But what was interesting was that everyone got that same letter within the building and I think that 80% maybe, maybe, maybe everybody minus a couple of us actually just agreed and said yes. Um, grumbled and said yes. So it's interesting to see kind of what happens there that you may well ask everybody across the board if you own, you know, a block of six, seven build, uh, flats to see what happens when you ask for an increase in rental rate. And you might say, look, four said yes, three said no. And you say, okay, well, the four who said yes will do yes. And the three that said no will say no, uh, and then continue. And if any dispute arises, then we'll just ask the three that are not paying less to pay more again or just deal with it when it happens but these are some considerations you can think about and um, you know whether or not morally or ethically what you think is the right decision all I'm saying is at the moment is that it pays to be mindful of what your rental rates are for the buildings that you have because this can you know really impact your bottom line as you scale your actual property portfolio so really think about you know rental rates set aside the time of the year there will be fluctuations depending upon you know if you're in an area where there's lots of schools and it's summer and people are trying to move in then the rental rates might be for example um, a lot higher potentially than winter when there's not many people trying to move because everyone decided their places in summer and suddenly a vacancy became available so think about these fluctuations within the market as well when you're looking at the rentals and be considerate of local rental market environment so you know if you've got a building in Sheffield versus a building in in in, in Slough then there might be different considerations when you think about these possible scenarios and it's not even about different cities it can be different parts of the same city depending upon even down to the road that you're on depending upon the type of tenants that that street or that building occupies and their rationale when it comes to finding places to rent. So think about these things and um, it's gonna really help you as you scale your property portfolio. So once again, if you're interested in getting access to our free training on how to get a mortgage for basically less than 80 quid, then click the link in the description below to find out how you can do that and catch you in the next one.